something dropped on me. Oh my god, a pigeon. Pigeon? It's a pigeon or one water? <laughs> it's pigeon, look. Mm. Oh, it's smelling so oh, bad. Oh yeah. It's pigeon. It's pigeon? I don't know. Yeah. Oh my god. Blessings. If it's a pigeon, it's a blessing. It smells like a like a glue oil. That my look, dad. Look, look, look here. What also in your hair? Oh my god. <laughs> That's true. Ah, yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. god. <laughs> so, so I am going yeah. to do a review of Kanta put out a video this morning where he um allegedly got a phone call and um threatening the colors smith team me personally i don't believe it um what canton and no say him is a little country boy and you have some big fish brain out your way um one them go to school one thing that i have for sure um something that i i i'm gonna make this public here yeah. but something that we want to emphasize mm -hmm. is like make videos about yourself don't make videos about william Menachin. you know sure, last sure. time that we traveled we were finding a lot of things happening in the house because wow. of videos Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a reaction video. Give me rowdy. Who made it to the table? You and I were back like we never left. Lazy people everywhere. A quick reminder, you love me, I love you back. Have you grabbed something? Grab whatever that is grabbable. I got my bottle of water here. Grab your sharp sharp. Who do we have here today? Coco Mama of the Most High, the Blessed Ones. My personal persons, Ena Kakus. Coco Mama friends, silent viewers. Notification gang, 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 the lazy gang. Keyboard reactors, Ebu Modritos. Oh, Coco Mama lovers, the heroes. Coco Mama Baku bonus. You all are all amazing. Without your presence here, tell me why I will be here. You need to do what? But because of you guys, I can't wait. I can't wait to come back and drop it to Wutu Wutu. Before we move ahead ahead, have you liked this video? Drop your likes. It's very, very important to me. Mr. Kenge finally met his in-laws. Hey, Roro Roro is also from the village. Yeah, village people everywhere. Mm. A village girl will be attracted to what? A village boy. It takes two to tango. Hey, Baba Marwa can waste our time. More than one hour video. You know, he captured everything. Premiered it. More than 4,000 people were waiting to see Baba Marwa. It was emotional. <laughs> Roro Roro parents, of course. Why wouldn't they cry? Is You think it's a cry of joy. It's not a cry of joy because they saw all the drama. drama. They saw what their daughter went through. Even imagine your spouse asking you to grow your own vegetable. You want to eat cucumber. No, you must grow your own cucumber. I'm not surprised that Roro Roro parents that imagine if a man will even cry. Men normally, even if they get emotional, like it's very hard for a man to cry on camera like this because they know that this is their job. GoPro camera. Roro Roro got her own camera. Our Oga got his own. If it's not captured, we don't believe it. They claim that they were almost robbed. I didn't believe that because this is Baba Marwa for you. Anywhere he is, everybody is a suspect. You ask yourself, you don't even look rich. It's not like I am um, something here, guys. It's not like I'm, I'm saying this stuff because I want to laugh at him. But he doesn't look rich. And if I see, apart from you knowing that, okay, he's a travel commander, if you see him, you will see him as a regular person. You understand? I wonder why these guys are always like this. You did not even capture. You didn't capture this people that try to rob you 
Roro Roro got her own camera. Our Oga got his own camera. None of them captured them. Only telling us story. Oh, guys, you know, it's happening everywhere. They were very, very close to me, touching me, touching me. I don't know what splashed at them. And this guy, guys, I will allow you to watch. Nasto and D, they are on ending drama. <laughs> Here D, dropping nasty comment. The daily friend she got in the village is Mayoguno. Can you guys allow me to overthink? D is in the village, and Vivian is out of Mayugno's life. And D is saying that the only person, I mean the only friend she got in the village is... The comment is here. This girl is so weird. Guys, Kola Smith is here. Our brother. Hey, the threat is too much. The threat is not here. What is this? What kind of distraction is this? I've never seen anything like this, guys. Before we move to Jamaica, I think we must start from Argentina. Let's have a look at emotional moment i'm gonna let you guys see the clips but let me say what i want to say before i forget according to baba maro everything in argentina is free <laughs> if everything is free then why did Roro leave argentina to mexico if argentina is really really cheap no not even cheap rich like they've got everybody covered then once since university is free health care is free as soon as Marwa said that health here is free, because Marwa is already planning, okay, I hope I'm not gonna spend too much during Roro's delivery, okay, when the baby will pop out. I hope it's not gonna be too much, okay, the hospital is free. Roro reminded him that you have private options, and of course, private hospitals are not free. Who knows, Roro might prefer to have the baby. In private hospital i'm just saying <laughs> because this one that the first thing she told baba marwa is we have private options they went down to the village after complaining that someone almost robbed them let's go guys okay something dropped on me oh my god a pigeon it's a pigeon or one water <laughs> it's pigeon look mm. Oh, it's smelling so bad. Oh, yeah. It's pigeon. It's pigeon? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, my God. Blessings. If it's a pigeon, it's a blessing. It smells like a, like a glue. Oil. That my look, dad. Look, look, look here. What, also in your yeah. hair? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's true. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. God. <laughs> If it's pigeons, it's blessings. You will catch that's more not, money. That's not pigeon. But that's, it doesn't look like pigeons. It's smelling like a... Yeah. It smells like a glue that my, my dad uses to fix stuff. Yeah. Even here on the back. Duh. Oh, yeah. It's in the back also, right? Oh, my God. How, how it was possible to... This is a lot. We should, we should ask this guy what it is. Duh. And finally, the only thing, you know, everybody, I'm sure 4,000 people that clicked during the premiere to watch was waiting for that moment when our Oga will meet the in-law, Roro parent. Let's have a look at this, guys. Sí, 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 gracias, gracias. Guys, we're going to have some uh, <laughs> meal with my parents here. Uh, this is what we ordered. They are also having something else that it's coming. Yes. How are you? That's what I'm like, what are you saying? <laughs> so guys, we are very happy to be here together. Super happy. It's actually very early because here in Argentina, for us, we don't eat dinner this early. At this time... Can we move to your house? Guys, nice to after some of the villagers. Okay, the villagers that witnessed what happened. Baki Baki... PA, some of uh, our reactors, they exposed, they exposed everything that happened, even though they didn't mention the name of D. D wrote this. This is her comment. She replied to someone and she said, soon leaving. I have to shit for them to eat. I have to shit for them to eat. Who are you? Who dare you think you are something? Look at you. You are full of shit yourself. Who will eat you? What will somebody get from you? 
I'm not going to lie to you. For her to be this bitter to people that have done nothing to her, that will tell you that she is frustrated, frustrated, frustrated. You know how you think you will use your fame, you will use your money to buy love. You tried it first time, tried it different countries, you tried it in Philippines, it didn't work. You went down to Jamaica, oh, do you have Lamborghini? Everybody tells me I'm beautiful, Empress D, Empress D, Empress D. You tried it all over and it did not work. You tried to use your money to buy love and they discarded you at the end of the day. So why won't she be this miserable? Why won't she be talking like this? I'm too private because I know how fake they are. Now, G is private. Then what is she doing on social media? If you are a social media person, you cannot say that you are too private. You can say that to so extent maybe you filter some stuff. You don't expose or you don't mingle with everybody. You, you keep your circle very, very small or something like that. Or you are selective. But to say that you are too private, I don't get it, D. Because I know how fake they are. They're going to hate even more. I don't care about it. The only friend I have in the village is Mayuguna. The rest, apart from family, can hate. I don't mind. And what is Nasto saying? Nasto actually disgraced himself. I didn't understand him. Oh, we should try not to bring negative energy to the people that support us here. Maybe someone threw a tiny stone at you. You are already, people are already making it look like it's a big thing. There's nothing. It's something that they have solved. If this issue has been solved, why is Madame saying that she doesn't care? People must eat her shit. And the only friend she got is Mayoguno. Where is this drama coming from? This Nasto should stop this thing. This guy is a disgrace, honestly speaking. If I was him, I must not explain anything. But the people that witnessed what they did to you. Guys, do you know the funny part of it? The lady, remember the lady N, the lady that sponsored the party, wrote this. I'm glad you attended the party. I'm the lady who sponsored it through Nasto. I asked Nasto to video all. It was D. Mwango who disrespected Nasto. I'm going to unsubscribe to her channel. I only did it because of Marwa how he has uplifted your village. So this is the lady by name, Nadi, Lady N, that sponsored the party. She's not happy. She has unsubscribed from this channel because she witnessed everything. She saw what happened. So now tell me why Nasto is blabbing like this. Let's listen to Nasto. Now the party was a success. Most of us went to the party. Yeah. We really had fun. We enjoyed. So a lot has been said. Uh, over the past few days uh, uh, yeah, of uh, maybe some misunderstandings that uh, happened in the village but personally for me I really want to apologize to maybe the parties that uh, that were affected I just want to assure you guys that nothing bad uh, really happened uh, the issues have been resolved I've offended someone out there I really want to apologize and say sorry for what uh, whatever transformed because you're all human if i was nice to guys i don't have to explain but to come and be defensive because you know it doesn't make sense now he tries to cover everything just to remain will i say that he's doing this because he knows that all his subscribers you know when you don't do your own thing organically when you don't let people connect to you on their own it's not always good to attach your success to someone because you will always, you will never be free. Like Nasto cannot come out now and condemn what they did, the embarrassment and how they insulted and humiliated him. He cannot do it because he's worried about what people will say. He's worried about the guys that support him through Baba Marwa. He is worried that he might lose subscribers heavily. You understand? He's worried that he may not be getting views. You know, all those people supporting him my stop supporting him stuff like that otherwise tell me why this girl disgraced you privately she's even coming out to say that you should eat her shit and the only person she cares about apart from her family is mayoguno every other person 
she doesn't mind you guys can do whatever you can complain you can be upset you can do whatever she sees you guys as hypocrites and yet you are still covering her yet you are still acting like you are innocent or you are a good child at the end of the day Nasto looks so stupid if i was him i must not explain okay if you don't want to talk about it so that people will not see what they did to you when others spoke and you know that they are not lying they actually stated the facts then why coming to blab and talk this nonsense that oh people blew things out of proportion um what happened is actually a little thing and people find like i'm happy the way this thing is happening because hey baki baki was so emotional she almost fainted because she did another video with not long ago with Mawera talking about negative reactors. Who is negative here now? Who is looking stupid? Who is looking miserable? When we were on our own, you guys are falling apart. You guys are facing the reality. You can see now hey, what we are seeing. Otherwise, tell me. Tell me why Baki Baki will be so disappointed. PA, all of them. They cannot believe it that D will humiliate them like this guys i'm very very sorry because this girl she got no brain her score is empty possible full of water she got no sense because if she has sense even if you don't want to do stuff with your neighbors must you be arrogant must you be violent must you fight over it let's watch baki baki and only Mawera. Information we are getting is that Mawera has finally been thrown out of the villa. Remember, Roro Roro told him, you can stay in the villa, but you must stay in the villa and be cleaning. Clean our compound. Clean the cow's poop. Clean and clean and we don't want to pay. Of course, but Marwa don't want to pay anybody. So that's why Marwa allowed Mawera to stay. Now, we are hearing that Mawura has been thrown out by Congress dad. What did he do? Hmm. Listen to this, guys. Listen to the conversation Mawura had with Roro before they left. Roro told Mawura, we don't want to see Villa on your camera every day. You must stay here, but you must not record. He's there to look after the animals, the cows, the goats, the chicken, the fowls. Every animal that the horses, the moles, the donkeys. So, why he's doing that as a content creator who got no job? You can see, if I was this guy, okay, he came from Mombasa, he would have stayed there, and he he has a career actually, even though his music career hasn't kicked off. But he could have stayed there, maybe go to clubs, you know, try to walk through people that have made it it could have even been better for him why did he humiliate himself all he's doing now is cleaning the villa i don't get it cleaning the villa for free and on top of it instructed him never to record or film anything if anything goes wrong they don't want to see it on camera you must not record and he gave pledge i promise i will never let you guys down mm? working for free or show free guys let's watch them helping my mother my ass pina me tata just like a mother my ass pina me tata helping my mother can it just what good what good what good yeah. Guys, I guess this is the last day that I'm gonna in, 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 even comment about those uh, people with negative energy. For me, I don't have a room for negative energy. Mm -hmm. Some of them even started saying, like, when I came back here, they was like, I so saw they started using hashtag free my way. I'm like, huh? Am I, am I, am I your slave? Like, I'm, I'm okay wherever I am. Nobody will force me to come back here. Nobody did. Free my way, free yeah. <laughs> they say like, I came back here. I don't know, me and Yemi came here to cook. I don't. 
<laughs> but when you are here, you have to cook for yourself because Maru does cook for you. We cannot wait for Maru or Rusia to come and cook. Even my own aunt. Uh, my own home, uh-huh. my like you know, my home. We are so many boys, uh-huh. and my aunt says, "I am not married by you guys. Mm-hmm. I am married by my husband." So there's no way I can go. I'm gonna go look for money for food. Then I come and cook for you. Uh-huh. Not my. It's upon you to cook and clean. Uh-huh. So it's a responsibility. Yeah. Like you wake up every morning, like knowing, okay, I am like even when I'm here, I always assume like I'm at home. So mm-hmm. things have to happen. So mm-hmm. even if like compound needs to be clean, I have to clean it. Mm-hmm. You don't need to be told to do things like if you are a normal mm-hmm. person, you you, know, you use your common sense. Very right now. Yeah, like, yeah. Because also you are, I don't know how many men they expect Rosie to cook for you. Sorry. <laughs> like you are leaving us in your house. Yeah. What are you? One word for us are leaving us in your house. You take care of the house. <laughs> well, the door is closed. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. All right. No, uh, one thing that I uh, for sure. Um, Something that I, I, I'm gonna make this public here, yeah. but something that we want to emphasize mm-hmm. is like make videos about yourself, don't make videos about William Machine. You know, sure, last sure. time that we traveled, we were finding a lot of things happening in the house because wow. of videos. Yeah. So it's not, we should, we are supposed to be the first ones to know if something is happening, is happening in the now. house. Make video about yourself, don't make video about Villa Medellin. So he's going to stay on air and make video about himself. He must leave the villa. He must stay in the villa and work for them for free and do everything for them. But when it's time for him to do his content, he must not record Villa Medellin. And he accepted this nonsense from Rururu. Tell me, does this villa belong to you? Who is she exactly? Huh? Hey! Overthinking will not finish us, guys. Anyway, let them continue taking this nonsense. Guys, before we move ahead ahead, there's a comment I got on my last video. And I wanted to understand what was going on. We have another video that we will listen to pertaining this. So this person said, most of the beaches in Jamaica are private. You have to pay to enjoy them. They have to fix their constitution and declare that all beaches are the patrimony of all Jamaicans. Until then, Jamaica is a no-go place. Jamaica is a no-go area because the private beaches, the beaches there are private, like um, the citizens, they don't have access to the beach, except if you book, let's say you book a resort. I know in Nigeria also, we have some beaches whereby it's open for public, but some you have to actually book in order to enjoy you have to pay basically more like a resort so if you book to use the hotel then you have access to the private beach so i'm sure this is what this person is saying after that i did a research and i found this video let's watch we should be able to use our beaches we are a beach community we are beach people we're a small island surrounded by water Jamaicans can no longer access their own beaches. This is where they work. Say so they don't have a, a other job. They don't have nothing else to turn to. Tourists can pay for exclusive access to beaches at all-inclusive resorts, but everyday Jamaicans are increasingly being blocked out of them. When you push a fisherman from a beach, where did you want him to go? We are living in between waters, and we have no access to a beach. Some Jamaicans are organizing to take down the colonial era land laws that still affect them today. Jamaican came into emancipation landless and homeless. And that problem have not changed in Jamaica. And they're suing companies for cutting off their access to the beaches. And we also will not stop until the entire Jamaican public is able to access the beach freely. This is Steertown, a historic fishing community on the north coast of Jamaica. Local residents relied on the beach for their livelihood. But in 2020, two companies bought the land containing the pathways leading to Mama Bay Beach. Discrimination, yeah. apartheid team, we're tired of that. That must end. The owners built a cement wall along the property, effectively cutting off surrounding communities from the coast. Lifelong fisherman Norris Arscott lives up the hill in one of these communities. Both his father and grandfather before him worked as fishermen at the same beach that he did. All right, that's the hotel here, that, and the beach is just right beside the hotel here. It doesn't take me more than like eight, ten minutes from here to the beach. Now they push me off there, 
Well, I had to do 10 miles each morning to do my fishing work. I feel so sad, especially for the fishing community, because this is source of their livelihood. This is how, this is their nine to five. Now, in order for them to access the beach, they have to travel for hours still. They have to enter the bush or somewhere, somewhere. It's not like they don't have access to the beach. I, th I think what I would say here is modernization and Jamaica being a tourist place, okay? So many foreigners coming. Now, another argument is that those companies coming in, you know, to invest and turn these public beaches to private beaches, okay? Removing the locals from the beaches uh, or making them to pay. Imagine to assess your something you are surrounded with water okay they go through stuff when there's natural disaster they are the ones suffering it and as a local person you don't have access to it and your source of livelihood is in this same beach it's so sad whether jamaican beach is private or public all the beaches like they are beaching all the beaches. The government took over the beaches. I don't freaking care. That shouldn't make me see Jamaica as a no-go area. You understand what I mean? If you cannot afford to use the private beach because you have to pay in order to have access to it, it is what it is. There's always something. There's always a way out. Don't tell me that the villagers, okay, those people that live around those coastal areas okay don't tell me that they don't have means of either going inside the desert to have access to it it's always like that whatever or whenever government is interested in anything hmm. because the island the beauty of the island is the beach so it's expected that government and the citizens will be having log ahead stuff like that the politics coco mama is out of fritz that's why i played you guys should drop it with the water, especially those of you that are Jamaicans and let us know what you guys are doing about it. Nobody will ever convince me or discourage me from visiting Jamaica because their beaches are private. All the beaches are private. It makes Jamaica a no-go area. No, no, no. There's no country that don't have their ups and downs, okay? Their challenges, which as a foreigner, it's not our business. Yeah, our business is you go there, you do what you can do, you cut your coat according to your size, you look at the ones you can afford and the ones you cannot afford, you leave them with their problem and you are out of the door. Mm -hmm. We are not here to do politics. You guys know already. I'm just sharing it because I'm like, hey, so how is this really a big problem? But then hearing from the locals, okay, I can understand if this is where you make your bread and butter. Hey! And people are coming either to put a big hotel there and then closing everything, putting a very high wall. You cannot have access to it. You are going to freaking, freaking complain. You, you are going to frown at it. You will be, of course, mad at the government for doing that. To foreigners, okay, if you are a foreigner, if you are not a Jamaican, you may likely not see it as anything because, I mean, you are a tourist. Uh, even if you are asked to pay, if you can afford to buy your flight ticket, afford to sort out your accommodation, your Airbnb or whatever. Private beach, I don't think it should be a problem. Meanwhile, it's not even like you are living in the country. You are just coming for a time, like for a few days and then that's it. The locals are the ones that got this issue and they will always find a way to solve it as a foreigner i will never see jamaica as a no-go area to some other people they might see it as source of employment at least they can get a job to work not everybody is into fishing okay not everybody will do fishing business but of course for the fishermen they will not find it funny to see that all the beaches are being closed meanwhile you are surrounded with water Hey, it is what it is. But we leave matter for Matthias. It's none of my business. It's none of our business, actually. Let me know what you think in the comment section. You think a fool out your silly boy was just born while you're still in a nappy?
You think I fool you out your son Tato? Eh? So call up the woman and the man name. The people they move on. Me see big fun they keep. And Nick dead and every man dead. Nick no in a war with you. What Nick do Nick jump out and defend himself. Because lies were told on him. Oh him abuse Gongy and oh him abuse stars on. And a man have the right to defend him name. So when you come and I try to mix up and I put this out there. Look up where I go find something and do. You understand them brand you as a thief. Your thief your boss and broke your boss foot. We want to hear about that. We don't hear want to hear about no foolish shit. No private number and this. We don't want to lie you tell. Not no go so. Can't can not no go so. You understand? Not no go so. I may I tell you something, I don't care how you come out and try to save yourself. You see, Miguel, I look on your side eye. You're not going to get that full trust there again. Because you thief the man. And that's the video where you're supposed to put out and challenge that. You made a threat towards Grungy. And Nick never hide when he said when he come out and say, If you even, even look upon him baby mother. What you expect? You think you can come out and diss the woman? Diss the woman and that's why the woman left the group because they don't used to diss her. But she have a man where we diss her. You understand? So when you are coming up with your little peanut marble brain from up in a Portland bush, that's all. Now come out come for the people them name and go Cause you can't fool me. You understand? You can't fool me. A lie you tell. Press our run out with my shit for Nick. Right? Nobody now call pressure phone. Bad man now call pressure phone. A feel like a phone. You think Nick Fred, look how color smith big and tall. You understand? And that's calling to people. Color Smith have the money for pay extortion it and this and that. And Nick go in front of Color Smith and ready feet. You understand? Then are you Nick Freda? If you make bad man page you. Come on for the people them name boy and go find something though. And me I look at me and say, you know, see I set them and set up a team. I distract them one, distract color Smith in on the team, you know. Because the content them will come out from what you you know, from the other day. You see, from the drama go on, I want to think, I want to look if I think, if I want to me a pre ram From the drama go on with Grongad and Nick Vlog and color Smith and the whole team, Kanta when Ghana one part of us one, be a thing I go on. After that, over a month now, the content them we color simit a put out is the content them we know color simit far. That makes sense. Right? And the content them we know color simit far. It, it take us back to basic old school. This is typical distraction. All these ones that is happening. Because from what this reactor is saying, Color Smith decided to stay focused now to put past everything that happened brought the team together the guys that want to stay i think at some point Kanta wanted to get off from the team and he decided to join now he's getting threats my understanding from everything that is happening here is that kola smith wants to put past everything and stay focused but you know it is what it is they are still not yet together that's why in the beginning when i reacted to all these issues i said i wish he will resolve the team and hire new people though he said on his live stream yesterday that he actually has so many people that he works with some the subscribers know about them some the subscribers are not aware about other guys that he's not just cooking and then feeding the poor he's actually doing a lot in the background possibly a lot that he's not bringing to camera i agree with this person that the attack may not likely come from ground god and nick actually there might be other people who are out there you know to see Kola smith go down and now that they have seen that 
He's staying focused. He's building the team. They are back to do what they know how to do best. They are about to go out there, create content that they normally do, okay? Now they want to distract him. Now they want to destroy this completely. So, um, this Kanta guy, people are asking, why is it that this person that threatened Kanta did not call Kola Smith, even though his number is out there? Possibly, the person might call Kola Smith and he will not pick the call. That is it. People are still fighting him. For what reason? I don't understand. Yes, guys, finally, Benjamin and Akin are expecting the little one. Finally, they are pregnant. I'm super, super happy for them and excited. Again, I don't know, guys, but if I was them, I don't know how far she has gone, okay? If I was them, I wouldn't have shared this good news. But I am sure they did it out of excitement because so many people have questioned, so many people have said a lot of nonsense about this. Oh, why are you not falling pregnant? Oh, what are you still waiting for? Just three years. We forgot that there are people that actually waited for this kind of blessing for 30 years, for 30 years, for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. Some people actually waited for eternity. Because they are social media people, I guess, it was too difficult for them, you know, to read comments. Someone asking you, when are you going to fall pregnant? Oh, what, are, what is going on? Why, 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 why? So, finally, they made the announcement that Akinye is pregnant. Is it too early for them to announce it? Should they have held it for a while, okay? We don't know how far they are. If I was them, um, I feel it's too early for them to announce this. They could have, she could have hidden it, though it's difficult. But there's a way she could have done it and people will not know. Just to make sure that everything is okay. We pray that God will see them through out this pregnancy. And she will have her bundle of joy. Mm -hmm. Let's watch them before we call it a day. <laughs> Akini's got some attitude over here oh as we start the video. Welcome, guys. I'm Akini. And I'm Benjamin. And Benjamin, I guess, right now is the one with some attitude. I do not have any attitude, Benjamin. You're just, you're reaching for something I'm that not isn't really for there. Anything, babe. I don't want anything. <laughs> Anyways, hey guys, how are you doing? Yes. We hope that you are doing well. Um, things are keeping busy yes uh, and our lives are changing yes do you want to say what i was thinking our you lives should are say. changing you should say all right well, we're pregnant <laughs> i did say it that way babe <laughs> okay say it again we're pregnant i like hearing it that's why i like okay and we're having a baby yes we're having a baby finally it has happened i, I guess all the prayers that you guys sent we well, appreciate all the prayers. They've reached out to God, but we just want to say thank you to God first because He's the one who we've been praying to. Yes. And He's the one who answered the prayer. So yes. we, when I tested, actually, Benjamin is the one who made me test, you guys. <laughs> you know, the backstory is. We've been trying for three years to yeah. get pregnant. I am super, super excited and happy for them. God's time is the best. She made a lot of people cry. She made me so, so emotional. I love when she said that Jesus remembered her. All right, guys, if you watch to this moment, you know who you are. You are the best. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Thank you for your love and support. None is taken for granted. I appreciate your presence today. Have you liked this video? Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. Bring someone to the table. Tell a friend to tell a friend of a cocoa mama. I'll see you all in my another one. Peace out, peace out, peace out. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.